friends here in this video we will see a Bernoulli's equation for that here is the question the water is flowing through a tapering pipe having diameters 300 mm and 150 mm at sections 1 and 2 respectively the discharge through the pipe is 40 liters per second the section 1 is 10 meter above datum and section 2 is 6 meter above datum find the intensity of pressure at section 2 if that at section 1 is 400 kilo newton per meter square so at first whatever is given here i'll write that in the form of data Water is flowing, so the type of fluid given here is water through a tapering pipe having diameters 300 mm and 150 mm at section 1 and section 2. So, at section 1, the diameter is 300, so that is D1. And at section 2, the diameter is 150 D2. So, here I will get area 1 and area 2. So, area 1, when I calculate pi by 4 into 0 0.3 square, that comes out to be 70.69 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter square area 2 pi by 4 into 0 0.15 square that is 17.67 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter square next the discharge through the pipe is 40 liters per second so q is given Forty liters per second, so that will be forty into ten raised to minus three meter cube per second. Then the section one is ten meter above the datum, and section two is six meter above the datum. That I'll explain with the help of a diagram. So it indicates that the section 1 is at 10 meter means it is at a higher level compared to section 2 which is 6 meter above datum. So here So here is the tapering pipe as they have given the section 1 is having 300 mm diameter and that is at a height of 10 meter from a datum which is common to both the sections. So from the datum, section 1 is at 10 meter height, section 2 is at 6 meter height. So that indicates it is a tapering pipe. Next, we have to find the intensity of pressure at section 2. If that at section 1 is 400 kN per meter square. So I will write down P1.
is 400 kilo newton per meter square so that is 400 into 10 raised to 3 newton per meter square and we have to find the intensity of pressure at section 2 that is p2 is what we have to calculate here so this much is the data part now let us get started with the solution to this problem now when we have such a problem where section two sections are given we can start that by using the Bernoulli's equation so I'll say that applying Bernoulli's equation at sections 1 and 2 so at section 1 it can be written as P1 upon rho g plus V1 square by 2g plus Z1 at section 2 P2 upon rho g plus V2 square by 2g plus Z2 then your P2 is what we have to find out so I'll keep P2 and P1 on one side in such a way that if I send P1 upon rho g onto the other side that can be written as P2 minus P1 having the common denominator rho g I'll keep them on one side then V1 square by 2g I'll send V2 square by 2g onto the other side so having the common denominator as 2g that will be V1 square minus V2 square already Z1 is there if I send Z2 onto the other side so that will be plus Z1 minus Z2 I'll be keeping this as equation number one and here we have to find P2 for that P1 should be known P1 is given 400 into 10 raised to 3 Newton per meter square then out of V1 V2 we don't have any values so V1 V2 are the unknown for Z1 Z2 Z1 is given as 10 meter Z2 is, a, is 6 meter these values are known so it is understood that we have to find the velocities first to get the value of P2 here we have to find V1 V2 first and that can be found out from the discharge which is given and since area are known I can use continuity equation from continuity equation the discharge Q is equal to a1 V1 will be A2 V2 then from here I'll get V1 and V2 in such a way that it is V1 is equal to Q upon area 1 and the discharge Q is 40 into 10 raised to minus 3 given upon area 1 70.69 into 10 raised to minus 3 so from this I will get V1 which is 0 0.565 meter per second Similarly, I'll get V2 Q upon area 2 
here the discharge is again 40 into 10 is to minus 3 area 2 17.67 into 10 is to minus 3 so v2 will be 2.26 meter per second so when the velocities are known your p1 value is known z1 z2 are also there so i can put all values in equation 1 so therefore put all values in equation number 1 so here i have p2 i'll keep it as it is p1 is 400 into 10 raised to 3 rho g since it is water the value of rho g will be directly 9810 because rho g is also called as weight density and the weight density of water is 9810 newton per meter cube then the value of v1 0 0.565 square v2 2.26 square divided by 2 into 9.81 plus z1 minus z2 z1 it is 10 and z2 is 6 so from this when i calculate i'll get the answer of p2 as 436 0.85 into 10 raised to 3 newton per meter square or i can say 436.85 kilopascal that's the answer so here if we see into the question they have told us to find the value of P2 and the value of P2 is known which is 436.85 kilopascal and with this the problem gets completed.